Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net and I am doing a fire sign which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and this is for April the 4th, 2023. So, the cards I pulled today, very interesting, at the High Priestess, which means for me, the High Priestess is somebody who can see things clearly that other people cannot see and but she's wise enough or the it's a wise enough energy to not um, not necessarily tell everything you know because it's quite often it's a good idea if people aren't ready to hear you don't tell them you wait until people can hear you before you you say something. And you can say things, but no, it will not take hold. It could be you say something so that in the future they will have, remember it and it will maybe seep into their subconscious. But at the moment, recognize that what you're going to tell people, they will not hear you, which is, which is, which is fine. And the next card I, I've got, unfortunately, is the Four of Pentacles. And that's rigidity. Not being able to, not being able to make a move. Not being able to change the direction of the energy. And I don't think this is for fire. I think this is for people who will, fire people who will be working with others. They won't, they themselves won't be able to shift and change which is unfortunate but that is a very powerful rigid card it's rigid around money it's rigid around beliefs it's rigid around a lot of things all right so the third card and i have a choice of third cards i think this is the card that feels right if you don't buy into this don't become upset and don't allow that to interfere with who you are then for you yourself, fire, this is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is is allowing yourself to grow, to, to be more, to be in balance, to have strength. You don't have to rely on everybody around you if they don't vibrate at the level you vibrate at. If, if you rely on people of a slower vibration than you, and it's not good nor bad, it's simply this is where they are on the on the spiritual journey. That's all. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But for you alone, if you allow yourself to vibrate at your level and don't try to pull everybody up, not tomorrow, not on the 4th, but you try to be who you are, be your authentic self, you will find that you get more, you gain more, then you realize it, people don't have to agree with you for you to be right about what is right for you. And if you can allow yourself to move in that direction, be that person, that independent, in this case, tomorrow, the fourth, you want to be independent, an independent soul, just for tomorrow. And if you do, then you've got Ten of Cups, which is allowing yourself to be happy, and uh, and it's a mature form of happy. It's not a it's not a bouncy 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 joyful happy. It's a it's a it's a just a calm quiet ref in, inner reflection. You have a cup of coffee with you, and you go, yeah, I feel good today. That kind of that kind of joy and happiness, right? So I'm not going to spend more time on that. But the recap is, don't try to in in, don't try to change other people's minds tomorrow. Don't try to bring them on board tomorrow if they don't already vibrate with the same level as you do. But be secure in who you are tomorrow and it will bring you more happiness. Two or three days from now you can try to bring people on. But tomorrow on the 4th, just be strong within yourself and enjoy life for yourself. Okay, namaste, namaskar, 
And I love you and you I do love. And let's see if I can get this.